not require medical attention. Your assistance is much appreciated, Ensign. I'll say. Any later and we might have been a harvester snack. When Rhoda Bridge, the harvesters have been eliminated. For we'll now. Get. We'll get cleanup crews down there on the double. Can't believe the aliens survived the hit from that dreadnought. It would have been much worse had we not disabled the harvester. Not that that's going to make anyone around here feel any better. What do you mean? Let's just say that, as ship's morale officer, I've noticed people are a little on edge from constantly being on the defensive for so long. I just hope we get out of here soon. Mm. Tuvok, Ensign Monroe, report to the conference room in half an hour. So I wonder why those other dudes were like, they're unstoppable. Like, they were very much easily stoppable. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if they face like a different class of harvesters, but why did those other guys have so much trouble? They were just a bunch of bugs. You could just shoot them. So we'll probably meet some stronger ones later, I'm assuming. Environmental controls and most critical systems will be online soon. But I don't know if we'll get full power back. How long before warp drive? I want to get Voyager as far from this death trap as possible. I might be able to get it up and running, but I can't guarantee its stability with that constant power drain from the forge's dampening field. Harry, what about sensors? Can we... Wait, aren't we... Go ahead, Ensign. What's on your mind? Well, aren't we going to counterattack? What? I mean, are we just gonna sit here and wait for them to attack again, or are we gonna strike back? I don't intend to leave Voyager a sitting duck, Ensign. Maybe you weren't paying attention just now, but we're doing our best to get out of here. Mr. Monroe, you were invited to this conference as a courtesy. The captain has rejected your proposal. Captain, I'm just saying what everyone is thinking. All right, Ensign. Just what is everyone thinking? Well, it's just that people are tired of being in the defensive. I have to agree. I've talked with some of the crew. Morale is low. They feel vulnerable. The best defense is often a strong offense. What are we supposed to do without engines and weapons? Drift over there and use harsh language? That thing's outer defenses could cut Voyager to ribbons. Not every problem can be solved by force, Ensign. I would have thought you would know that by now. While we're sitting here licking our wounds, the Forge could send another harvester ship. All the more reason to get repairs done sooner. But what if the repairs can't be finished because of that dampening field? I understand. We're all feeling vulnerable. But I'm not just captain of this ship. I'm the captain of her crew as well. I can't ignore the morale of my people. If they don't get a chance to fight back, they might not have any fight left in them by the time the next harvester comes. And I can't ignore the fate of the other countless victims this forge has taken, and the ones it's yet to take. We've been fighting so hard for our own survival, We've almost forgotten our responsibility to the others trapped here. If we have a chance to stop this madness once and for all, we must take it. However, Voyager is in no shape to challenge the Forge. Mr. Monroe, I take it you have a plan in mind. Yes, I do. Trojan Horse. The Harvester Ship. Of course! I can take a small team of my best people. We use the Harvester to enter the Forge and lower its defenses so you can send reinforcements and shuttles. If we can shut down the dampening field, Voyager and the other ships should be able to escape. We don't have any idea what kind of internal defenses that thing has. At the very least, we can buy Voyager some time. All right. Tuvok, Chakotay, Monroe, let's put together a plan. It's time we brought the fight to our captors. Not a bad idea, actually. I didn't think about it. Okay. Cool. Once the dampening field generator is down, we will evacuate the forge and return to Voyager via the shuttlecrafts. Crewman Jaworski, yes. Sir, how are we going to get the harvester back to the forge? We don't know how to operate it, do we? A science team has examined the harvester ship and discovered an automatic recall system. The ship is programmed to return to the forge on its own. Your team leader, Ensign Monroe, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. The first team is going to be a small group, just myself, Telsia, Beesman, and Chell. We will board the harvester and initiate the auto-return sequence. 
We believe the Harvester will return to this area of the forge, a docking ring of some sort. Still under construction, apparently. Our scans indicate that the external defense's power grid is located somewhere in this area. Once we shut it down, we'll call for the reinforcements. That's where the rest of you come in. Once we rendezvous, we will spread out and proceed down this main shaft. We'll try to locate the generator for the dampening field and destroy it, allowing Voyager to escape. Any questions? Liz? What kind of resistance are we going to run into? Who knows? Honestly, we don't know. We presume there'll be more harvesters over there, and who knows what else. We don't know anything about this forge, and who's operating it, but I expect pretty heavy resistance. Look, I know some of you must be scared. I know I am, but the Hazard Team was created and trained for exactly this kind of dangerous assignment. We can beat this thing. This crew has repeatedly surprised and impressed me over these past several years. Starfleet, Maquis, and others. We've all come together and performed beyond the expectations of even the finest starship crew. I know you can do this. We will shut down this death trap. All right, let's suit up and get going. My team, meet by the Harvester docking tendril in one half hour. Dismissed. All right, <clears throat> let's grab our equipment, grab our helmet, grab our weapons. Let's do this. Come to wish me luck, Tuvok. Vulcans do not believe in luck, Mr. Monroe. However, your success is crucial. And while I believe you will prevail, I hope that your mission does not encounter undue adversity. Thanks, Tuvok. We will join you as soon as your team deactivates the outer defenses. So, I've been pooping on this dude pretty bad for being, like, annoying. Is it just because he's a Vulcan? Is that, like, the whole thing? Or Vulcans, like, ho, ho, oh, we're super serious. We only mean, we only say what we mean type of deal. Hmm. Again, don't know su a whole lot about Star Trek, so... Maybe I misunderstood the Vulcan, not realizing that that's how his people communicate. I didn't know. Or if he's just a specifically annoying Vulcan. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that that's how their people communicate, and I misunderstood his annoyingness for something else, which is fair. How wrong of me to assume. Ooh, very red, meaning bad. Red equals bad. Alright, let's go. Let's do, let's, let's do this thing. Save the game, yes, please. That was a, <coughs> a fairly long cutscene, actually. I love it. Oh, <clears throat> nope. Another unpopular opinion of mine. I actually like cutscenes. I like them quite a bit. I think they're a great way to develop story. And I know so many people are going to disagree. Like, oh, you just develop story in the game. Yeah, well, I like cutscenes. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but I just, I don't know. I like movies, I guess. Whoa, this is sick. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Yo, this is so cool. Uh, uh, hey Monroe, Ooh. Chell's never gonna make it across. See if you can find an easier way down for him. We'll cover you. Maybe he needs to stop being such a big old baby. How about that, huh? All right, am I just jumping? Whoops. Oh, <laughs> I'm going into infinite space. <laughs> that sucks. Boom! <laughs> Once again. Going to hit up our. Um. Yeah, this disruptor. Bra, bra. I like this gun. It's not the best gun long range, but it works. Right, we're going to shoot every single one of them. I just don't feel like dealing with them when I get that back down there. Bra, bra. Why are y'all trying to get out the door there? Nope. Where do you think your guys are going? Nope. You guys are all gonna die. It's done? Alright. One guy left. Cool. I think... Is that all of them? It's probably at least most of them. I'm gonna hit up our compression rifle here. Oh! 
Almost didn't make it right there, to be honest. This is the jump that I missed last time, so... Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. What up? Okay. Woo. I don't think I need to go to that. It'd be useful, but I just don't feel like dying right now. Oh, I don't know what type of lag went on there. What's going on? I definitely thought I was going to die in the void right there. Hmm. Hello? Oh. Man, this place is scary. I don't like this place. Let's get some health going. I literally only need one piece. Control panel. There we go. Come on down, you bunch of weenies. Yo, what in the world is that? Weird texture, but okay. Okay. Mm Entering new area. That looks like lava, bro. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to go down there. It looks like a dead end. I almost fell in. All right, am I entering a new area or no? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and hit up a save here. I'm gonna jump down. Before I jump down, I want to, you know. Okay, so that is the new area. Okay. Yeah, I'm just getting in the use to the habit of just saving before I jump into places because there's like a 75% chance that I'll die. So. Better save the sorry. Save a game. Yes, please. That, that was not like very hard, but man, the, the jumping through space is definitely one of the more difficult parts. Because the jumping is slightly delayed. Hmm. Well, to, do you not see me? Do you have eyeballs? Resources. Come on, man. Although, how do I get back up? See, I made fun of her, but she's actually right. I don't really know how to get back up now. Oh, I can just do it through here. Also, I just lost a lot of health doing that, so that's kind of cool. Okay. Wait, let me jump back on. Ooh, we're floating. Whee! Alright. Thank you for the ride. It's like the bubble columns in Minecraft. Love it. That must be what they're talking about when they said unstoppable. Yeah, that thing looks a lot scarier. Are you just gonna chill up there? Okay, um... I have a feeling standing here and shooting at it is probably not gonna do the thing that I need to do. So like, is there like a button or switch I need to hit? No? Maybe these things? No? Oh, this. Yes, this, 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 this. Yeah, I know, dude. Well, you buffoons are just shooting at it. I realize that it probably won't be hurting it if you don't drop. Oh, oh, say what? Chell, get out of my way, you blue-headed. All of you guys suck at this whole teamwork thing, man. Alright. Oh. These things opened? Okay, well maybe we just maybe we don't even need to kill the last guy then. Fair. All right, I'm gonna blast you up. Hmm. Oh, what up? You guys can go away like now. Any. Supplies? Nope. Oh, here we are. Alright, now you're gonna die. Okay. Why not, Chell? Why not? 
Okay, never mind. I can run an endless loop, a, a simulation of current sensor data. It will just extrapolate all of the ship's current movement. So the targeting computers will think all the ships are just drifting normally. Right. When the reinforcements come, the targeting computers won't see them. Good thinking, Chell. Monroe to Voyager. The defense grid is down. You should be able to bring in reinforcements to the docking ring. But you better hurry. I hit some pretty heavy resistance. Understood. We shall be there as soon as possible. In the meantime, try to locate the main central shaft of the forge. Our scans indicate it should lead to the energy dampening field generator. Acknowledged. Monroe out. All right. We better get moving before more of those things show up. We can meet up with the reinforcements on one That's of the racist. lower levels. Don't call them things, okay. Monroe. I've unlocked that exit down there. Oh! My bad. Oh. Over here? Yep, entering new area. Ooh, that tunnel looks very dark. Very spooky indeed. Very spooky. All right, Good game. Yes, for the millionth time, please and thank you. Oh, what up? You're gonna be phased. Oh, we have a stronger phaser. I didn't even know. All right, we need to let some of the energy come back. Bob. Oh, what up? Take some energy. You gonna be, you guys gonna be all right? That's actually kind of funny. Oh, this is all of our stuff. You buttholes, don't take our stuff. That's my stuff. Hmm. Why would you even want his trophy? So wait, can we go through when this thing goes down? Stop taking my stuff. Zap. You're gonna be phased up. A little headcrab thing, too. Hmm. Any supplies up in this area? Ah! Wait, I have a I have a gun. Use my gun. Okay. Hmm. Supplies. You love to see it. Help, please. Ooh. Ammo too. Oh shoot. Bro, I'm trying to attack the thing. Bro, they got me backed up into a corner. Bro, I'm trying to protect all of you. You guys need to stop being so whiny. Alright. Ooh, nice little spikes you got there, bud. Very nice decor. I like it quite a bit. Oh, what up? And then we can switch over to the the dreadnought weapon this thing is very strong against these things yeah you just hold this thing down and it just does all the work for you which is kind of sick oh they're behind us too dude i'm trying to shoot them but you guys are like acting like football linemen and just like pounding them Right, here we go. Woo! You guys really just jump out of nowhere. They kind of just say, what's up? Don't make that noise. You weirdo. Oh, energy. Yes, please. Give. Oh, I didn't pull energy. All right. Well, if we need some more ammo, we'll definitely know where to come back. Hey, 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 check it out, man. There's some of those creatures in these containers. 
What's that all about? Who cares? As long as they stay in there. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, Wake up. Hey, hey. hey don't care. Don't do that. Ah, he's sound asleep. You're lucky he's in there. I feel like he's gonna be definitely the one to die during this mission. Oh, what up? These elevators. Oh, control panel. Thank you. Hello? Okay, that was weird. Like, wouldn't let me get on for a while. I should probably run back and grab that blue energy, but I don't. I'm not. There's some more here, so I don't really have to worry about it. I'm gonna jump down from somewhere. Yeah, I knew they'd be jumping down from somewhere, I just didn't know where. I just wasted so much ammo doing that. Right, how about we get some more of this going? Bro, can y'all handle one crab on your own? Come on, guys. Go chill. Oh. Is he, like, welding the door? Alright, phase up. I think I'll probably grab some more ammo here. Bro, you guys wanna chill out for one second? Oh, bigger zap. Is there another gun I can use? I'm gonna run out of- Oh, that's a lot of people, holy! Alright. What a man, look at him go. Brah. Dang, dude, he kind of went out like a absolute unit though, not gonna lie. Dude, what a guy. I, I need more ammo. Give me, please. There we go. Fresh and rifle time. Shoot him up, shoot him up. It's lagging so hard. There's so many things going on right now, I don't know. Can't tell what's going on. Oh, I'm on very low health. Um, I need to I need to run over to, yo, nine, you're about to get me killed. I run over to some energy here. There we go. Little hectic, little crazy, little laggy, but we did it. We did it. Thanks, Tubok. We couldn't have held out much longer. Did all the boarding parties make it? Yes. The defense systems did not fire. The captain, Chakotay, and others have boarded several decks. Good. Now we just have to find the generator and shut it down. Monroe? He's dead. Dead? No. He can't be. He saved us all. The good of the many outweighs the needs of the few. Mr. Beesman understood this. He will be missed. But we must continue with our operation. Feels bad, man. Although I did call that he's gonna die, but he died in a much better way than I thought. So you know what? Good on him. Generator is on the lowest level. We will need to divide into teams and try to find a way down to destroy it. Mr. Chell, Miss Murphy, I will require your skills. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. 
Chang, Jurat, you're with me then. We should maintain an open comm channel for the remainder of the mission. Let's go. All right, let me just yoink up all the juicy supplies in the area and then we'll get going here. I'm surprised I didn't need to use more of these, to be honest. I only need her to use a couple. But I was also lagging quite a bit. I mean, obviously PS2 emulator, you know how it is, but... Alright, so where exactly are we going? Locate the main central shaft of the forge. Guessing we don't need to go backwards. Hmm. Just some more health. Oh. All right. Hmm. Entering new area. All right, let's do this. Wait, I might need some more ammo. Let's grab this stuff. Yeah, let's grab that. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's officially enter the new area. I know, that, I know there was some more ammo upstairs too, but I walked up by it a million times and it didn't get picked up, so I just assumed I was full. So I don't know, that was a little weird. I don't know why I didn't pick up the ammo before, but no matter. I'm sure they're going to give us more. So save game? Yes. Yes, please. That's right, forward. Who are they? I... I can't read them. They must be shielded from my impossibilities. I'm guessing those are the real masterminds of this operation. They look a bit smarter. <laughs> 